Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. So, uh, we are literally almost at the end of the game. This game is extremely short, as I've mentioned multiple times before. We're on Chapter 7, Swampy's Revenge. The whole game was Swampy's Revenge, but no, it really starts now. Yeah, we've already cleared frogs in space, Toad Breaker, Big Bad Bugs, Crocs Away, Separate Ways, and Baby Frog Rescue. No, now we're on Swampy's Revenge. Maybe this is where we actually get a glimpse of what the heck Swampy's Revenge is going to be like. Let's just find out, shall we? So Swampy's in outer space. He has his own space station. You don't need no, like, oxygen mask or anything. He's got his secret computer and his illegally pirated music. It actually looked like a lifesaver's, like, mint. Okay, he's broadcasting a TV program from outer space. <laughs> Too many frogs! Oh, I'm so confused. What the heck was that? So it looked like he, is he broadcasting a commercial for his upcoming game, Swampy's Revenge? Why is what? Why is he kidnapping the frogs? He's just, he wants to sell a video game? I'm very confused. <laughs> I thought I knew the plot of this game. Nope. Also, was that supposed to be Swampy's mom? His girlfriend? Just a random female crocodile using the same model as he is? He, he made a commercial of himself shooting a dart gun in a random girl's house that was overcome by frogs. Was she living in Egypt during the time of the plagues? I don't really know. But, um, Swampy's re I, I think I'm even less clear on who the heck Swampy is and what his revenge is. But anyhow, we're back with Lily Frog, and we're on maybe the most linear level in the entire game. But this one is still kind of fun. But we're definitely going to need to use Super Hop and moving the arrows at the same time. So, those, uh, those platforms full of holes, they're gonna disappear on us. The solid ones will stay around, so... Those doors will have the little propeller enemies come out of them. We can super hop over them. Go back, double super hop up here, and grab the green frog. Yeah, so this level, it's like, there's literally one way to go. This is just testing your super hop skills. Okay, that was unfortunate. That enemy was positioned in such a way that we just couldn't proceed forward. Let's wait until you're right there, so we can double super hop over you and double super hop over there. Super hop up here, double super hop to the crate, and boom, yellow frog. Lily Frog, you already broke through the research facility to help Frogger into space. Why are you still here? I guess you don't have anything better to do because Frogger went to outer space without you, but still, like, what? Okay, now we gotta wait for those platforms to pop out. The piano key platforms, as I like to call them. Pfft. Fall damage. Gotta love it. Yeah, you gotta hop on some of these, and then you gotta super hop over some of them. Uh, Yikes. Okay, we ha we actually might be needing that quick hop ability. Yep. So you actually do need quick hop for that part. <laughs> Which is why I kept respawning. Alright, we gotta wait for the electricity to pass by, because we don't want to get zapped. Exactly, Lily Frog. Purple Frog time! Yeet. I forgot how plentiful extra lives are in this game. Good grief. And I and I still had a game over. Professional gamer here, ladies and gentlemen. What? He was up in the sky, though. Did I hop into him just by walking? That, that, that don't seem right. That boy ain't right, I tell you. All right, fine. We'll wait for the propeller guy to be completely over us. All right, we've made it to the top of the machine. Propeller guys are going to be moving around. 
We've got that thing at the top that doesn't actually hit us, but we've got electricity on all the other sides, so... Gotta finish collecting all the coins. Gotta watch out for electricity and the propeller guys, but there we go. And that was the Infernal Machine. All coins collected. Ruby available. Ruby is weird. Oh man. I was about to say, we almost beat Rawl's time. No, we actually were a minute slower than Rawl, but we still got the silver trophy for some reason. Okay, I, I guess that works. I guess you could say we are on a roll. <laughs> That's the last of the laboratory levels. So now, if we press enter, we're going back to space with Frogger. Rescue the babies from the evil TVs. So we got these floating platforms around here. This level could have been like the space station. If all these tubes were open up at the beginning, this level would have been like space station where it's open. You can get any of the frogs in any order, but no. They make it so you can only go down one tube at a time, and then the new ones open gradually. So we have to go through here first. These tubes will suck us through space and take us to different places. I think we just saw Frogger's neutral air in Smash Bros. Super hop over the guy and then lick him. Sorry about that cut. Never fails. I start recording and all the garage doors start opening. Garage doors are directly underneath my recording room. So it picks up on the, <laughs> the microphone a lot. Anyhow, now we go back and this new tube opens up. And thankfully you've got that little sign that pops up saying, Hey, you should go down here. This takes us to a different part of the space. More floating platforms. We can turn off the electricity with that button. Button over there will make these things start moving. That button will make that bridge extend. And the button down here will make the electricity in this next area turn off. Or rather, if you had that, if you didn't push that button, there would just be the electricity going everywhere at all the time. But now we've turned it off so that we can control where and when it goes off. We go, grab the yellow frog, and we teleport back to the start. All right, down the tube. Skadoosh. All right, now we're on these fast conveyor belts that are going to push us into these asteroids, which will not be fun. I don't know if the asteroids are instant death. Yep, they, they are. So avoid the asteroids. We can grab some bugs along your way. Okay, look at the hitbox on that coin. What the heck? That was a small one. All right, extra life. Bold of you to imply I had a life before that. All right, now we can go down this relatively straight tube. Ah, uh, yeah, so you can see the purple frogs over there. How the heck are we gonna get on that platform? Well, we got this flashy button. It'll make him teleport up. And if we keep pushing on the flashing buttons, they go up, but if you push the brown buttons, then the frog moves back. There we go. Alright, here we go. Last tube, and look at all that stuff that we're <laughs> that's going to wait for us. So we got the quick hop. An extra life and auto hop if we want all three. Why not? No, that's why not. If you have quick hop and auto hop at the same time, well, good luck. So we got these electric fences that will come across occasionally. Every time we get to one, the new one will start spewing electricity at a greater frequency than the last one, so we gotta keep an eye watch out for that. Yeah, so for that one, there's a short less of a rest between the uh, electricity <laughs> than there was on the previous ones. Keep picking up the coins along the way. The path gets narrower as well, so we'll have to utilize the double super hops. And as you can see, that last electric fence basically gives you no space to <laughs> let up. But we got all the coins, and boom! That's all the frogs on Space Suckers. All coins collected, Swampy available. Yep, the last unlockable character in this is Swampy himself. Ain't that a pip, huh? 
So yeah, that space sucker is the last of the uh, space levels. So now, here's the thing. We have three chapters left in the game, but now each chapter is only one level long, and they're all dealing with the final world. I think I want to play all of those levels in one video. There's just one problem. If I end the video here, that's going to be like a five minute video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main menu and we're going to actually, I'm going to show off arcade mode a little bit. So see you in just a little bit. And apparently either someone's mowing the grass or there's a helicopter outside. I think it was a helicopter, but it seems to have passed. So, okay, here, everybody. So... If we head on over to the main game, we can go to Swampy's Revenge, or we can go left to multiplayer. We're gonna go to Frogger's Arcade. And this will let us go to the different worlds we've been to in the game, and potentially try to play them again, this time either getting a new best time, or by collecting more coins. So as you can see, this is the world garden, so we got the training and the garden. As you can see, the best time is by laws with 40 seconds, and we have collected all the coins on that, as you can see by the coin medal. No coins on training, so there's no need for that. Then we got the Ancients with Boulder Canyon, Pyramid Climb, and Grindstone. Sand, Matt, and Jim have the high scores on that, but we got all the coins. Then we got Space with Space Station, Space Chase, and Space Suckers. Subterranean has the Gold Mine, the Ant's Nest, and Lava Palaver. I swear growing up, so I know that's a picture of like the volcano erupting near the lava, but if you look at it out of the corner of your eye, that looks like two clown faces. Maybe you gotta squint, but I swear growing up I thought those were two clown faces, which is weird. Even though it's clearly not. Maybe I'm crazy? I don't know. Probably am, but I just wanted to point that out. And we got the Laboratory of Disco Lab Research Facility. Ugh. Is that, does that monkey have a piercing? Or is that like a, a pacifier? That's weird. And the Infernal Machine. Yeah, so those are the main worlds. And then if you go to the left here, we get Super Retro. These are all the bonus worlds of the game. So I'm at least going to show off one or two of these is what I think I'll do for this video. So yeah, these are all basically classic Frogger levels, or at least levels done in the classic Frogger style. So this first one, way back when, is the only one of the bonus levels that you have unlocked right from the start. All of the others you unlock by collecting all of the coins on different levels. So let's start with way back when. Okay, so this has the best music in the game right here. And as you can see, there's the timer in that corner that lets us know what the best time is. So, it's the classic Frogger stage. You go across the road, go across the river, get the frogs. Every time we grab a fr wait, every time we grab a frog, every time we grab a frog, the level gets a little more difficult. So as you can see, there are crocodiles in the river now. We pick up this frog. Now there's going to be more cars in the road. Some of the turtles are going to be going underwater. Not a huge deal, though. But now that we've picked up three, as you can see, some of the uh, traffic is picking up speed. Now we got these snakes to worry about, as well as beavers that we can't go on their backs. Seriously, though. This music did not have to go this hard, but it did, and it's glorious. And now that we've collected all but one of the frogs, the traffic in the road is absolutely nuts. And the rivers are not very safe. Thankfully, we can still use crocodiles as the platforms, and we can grab the red frog with plenty of time to spare. Do, 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 do. Way back when, and it's the new best time! You suck it, Ran. I beat your best time. <laughs> yeah. So, do I want to type in art, or do I want to type in RT? <laughs> I'll go, I'll go art. Yeah, under a minute. Booyah. Again, all of that you really get for these are these gold trophies. I'm gonna try to get all of them. So there we go. I now have the new best record on way back when, which is pretty cool with my initials. So now I think we can do one or two more. Let's go to Toad Road, which is very similar to way back when, but it's just a little bit different. There's also now a 50 second best record for this by Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> well, we got to definitely be Bruh. at this best time. All right, here we go. So Toad Road is pretty similar to way back when. It's just the entire level is a road, basically. Very few safe spots. Uh-oh. We don't want to die. Uh-oh. Thankfully. Thank you, invincibility frames. As we play for the level, it's gonna get harder. Traffic picks up, there will be more cars, and you'll see the lily pads that we could use before have disappeared. So we really gotta pick up the pace. 
That's part of the strategy for these retro levels, is understanding that they get harder every time you collect a frog, and trying to prioritize which frogs are the best to get first. But there we go, Toad Road, beat the, beat the new time easy. 31 seconds, and I even died, so I could have gotten that under 30 seconds. I, I'm gonna try it. Now I'm gonna try to beat my own time. See if I can beat that 30 second timer. Again, you can go crazy fast in these levels if you know the route and if you're hop and if you're quick on the keys. Oh, yeah, beat the time. Toad Road. Toad Road is one of my favorites. 24 seconds on Toad Road. Like I said, speedrunning Frogger 2 and trying to get the best times, like, it's actually really fun. And it's brutal because, like, you can basically move as fast as you push the keys. And it, it's chaos, but it's awesome. All right, we'll do one more. We'll try one way. One way is a shorty, as you can see. 40 second time uh, world record by Ran. Well, we can outrun Ran any day. All right, I picked Lily Frog this time. So yeah, as you can see, it's like a vertical level. So the cars are kind of driving at us, but at different speeds so we can find gaps between them. And if I was smart, then I would have tried to get the, the frogs that are farthest away first. Because if you grab the ones that are closest, you'll get those really quickly. Uh-oh. As you can see, we're now really struggling to uh, get the other frogs. <laughs> Did I just barely beat Rand's time on one way? Yeah, by only little, little more than a second. For less than 40 seconds, okay. I'm gonna try that again, but this time I'll be smart. Oh yeah, look at that, 20 seconds left over, and that's my, my previous record. 18 seconds. Under 20 seconds. Oh yeah, that's that's glorious. Again, you can get crazy times on these levels. And also, the Frogger 2 TAS is nuts. <laughs> how 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 well it plays. I mean, again, it's literally computer playing, but still. So yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of arcade mode. Again, just a sneak peek at it. I will definitely be getting a high score on every single level in the game, but that will come later. I just wanted to pad it out because it really makes sense to do the last three chapters all in one video. And I didn't want to make like a six minute video on Frogger 2. So there, some extra content for you all. And that, that'll kind of give you a little idea of what to expect in arcade mode, which is going to be a lot of fun. So thanks for watching, everybody. Next time we finish the main story, we're going to have to see what the Swampy's Revenge truly entails. And the final world is my favorite world in the game. It's... It's fantastic, with some of the best music. I know I say that about literally every song in the game, but this time I mean it. This time it really is, like, glorious. I wish people would make remixes and covers of it, but we'll just have to find out about that next time. So, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.